Hello everyone, Sam is here from myforexmagicweb.com. Today, um, Thursday night, Friday about to start. It's um, almost 11.20 p.m. on Thursday night. Today was a very busy day, so I didn't get the chance to make this video earlier. Anyway, so let's get started. Just wanted to show you what's happening in pound yen. Elliot Wave, uh, I made a video, part one, part two, and there's going to be a part three. Okay. So uh, just showing, you know, how the Elliott Wave step by step works out. And it's very easy to uh, speculate that which way it's going to go. And, you you know, when you see that it is, you know, it, it going in your way, then it's, it becomes very easy and you can go aggressively uh, because, you know, you know the study and, you know, it should go this way. And then it, when it goes, you have a confidence. Uh, and you and then you can go uh, heavy right and you know uh, very it, it becomes easy everything becomes easy so let's get started this one pound yen uh, made this chart 6th march we have one two and actually when it was going up there i start trading uh, i've been trading but you know here from here i knew that's gonna go for wave three so we've been trading for the long side you you can see the the charts and the trades on my website that so I, don't, I just want to make a small video that's why. so uh, wave three usually go and stop at 1.618 as uh, you can see from this chart here uh, this is uh, this is my thing uh, you know I made these diagrams like an you know, Elliott wave and then Elliott wave within channel how Elliott wave goes one two three four five making channel and how it travels so you can see this wave one two and wave three is fe 1.618 of wave one so if you notice here uh, that's what it did right uh, this you see this white uh, dotted line this is the that fib here fib tool fib expansion and then you can see here 1.618 actually it should be on this the number but anyway so after hitting that it started coming down so i knew that you know we need wave four because once it's finished there what it does it it you know this is the word a b c okay and then usually it pokes a little bit inside uh, outside the channel and then get back in and finishes with five probably most of the time is like 112 or 127 percent and if the pressure is too much then it goes to 1.6 okay so that that they started you know a b c you can wait a and b and then trade c or you can you know try trading a and c because we will be just uh, going up against it so here uh, after that this is what it is right so what happened after that was uh, let me go back here on this one it should be see this one here then it start coming down and that was my first trade coming down nice and clean uh, this is a big number and uh, once you see that you know it is uh, hitting that as a support multi pivot all that different things and then this magic waves i magic ib setup here right so as soon as you get the setup and the first red candle poof gone down and uh these were also nice entries but you know i took the one and that's enough you go all the way down to a, a pivot or a support this was you know band of a support and the pivot so close here more than 100 pip fine and dandy that's what we have won then after that, what happened is that it went up to for wave two and start coming down. This coming down, I knew that it's going to go uh, around uh, channel, lower tier. So after this, I got an entry here and it went down. So another 100 pip to the downside on the 8th. You can check the dates. You see, there was 7th. We were here. And from here to here, we came down nice and clean. When we came down there, then I said, okay, A, B, C, wave 4 is finished. Now we're going to go for wave 5 to the upside. Here you can see wave 4 finishes here. And now I uh, need to go for uh, go up for wave 5. And I make these charts and I send out to my uh, subscribers immediately so they can trade as well. They have my Magic IV system. I teach them how to take uh, entries and uh, online yard uh, in my webinars. Okay, so from here we had to go to the upside look what happened okay it going going up here this was my first entry here on the ninth and i think uh, i don't have this picture but i have uh, the other one 
where we end up like this okay going off the first entry was here and then today you can see boom boom two entries all the way go very close to the target and then i got out because i saw on a 20 minute chart this is a 40 minute chart by the way because i had to show you because this length is too big on a 20 minute chart so can i show you the entries but entries were taken basically uh, from the magic ivy system from 20 minute charts always 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 so this is how easy it is, you know, there's no anky panky. This is one, two, three, four, A, B, C, and sideway correction. This is not a sideway correction. I was hoping for a flat, but it came out like a zigzag. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. You know, anything can happen in this market. But as long as, uh, you know, the, the wave counts were there very clean. And similarly, right now, exactly, uh, Yoru Yen is doing the same thing. And it is making, I think it's in the third wave. Wave one and two, just like that, is finished. And we are here somewhere in Euro Yen, I'm talking about 40 minutes chart. And it's going to the upside, wave three. And nice and please, maybe a couple hundred more pips to the upside. And then it will drop for wave four and wave five, so on and so forth. By the way, we had a, a conference, ECB conference, and Euro got really, really strong, right? First, it dropped because of the interest rate uh, ease. And then, uh, boom, it went up. Euro Aussie, Euro Yen. Euro Aussie went up like almost five, six hundred pips, right? I didn't trade that. I didn't trade that. Uh, I didn't want to mess around with Euro today, to be honest with you. You need to play safe. Okay, I knew the, the pound yen, a uh, couple of hundred pips from pound yen. That's fine with me. You know, I don't have to be greedy. Uh, Euro Yen, I mean, Euro Yen or Euro Aussie or Euro USD because of the Euro ESB. I mean, ECB conference, uh, a lot of volatility, you know, up and down and up and down. And when you get caught in that, you know, it's messy. So why why get involved with with the currency where you have a big news coming in? Stay away from that currency. Watch other pairs for the opportunity. Okay, Like I did this one. It's very simple and easy. I, you know, I, I traded uh, pound yen and I also traded uh, pound Aussie. The chart um, i don't have the chart right now but tomorrow is friday at the end of the week uh, i'll make a video showing you um, uh, all, all all the trades that i took for uh, this week there's probably like six seven uh, good trades okay so i had a couple of uh, um, bad trades now bad trade my bad trades are 25 pip sl boom gone okay must i in my strategy magic ib system must be when i open a trade uh, for example if i can go back and I show you that you know what happened here. You see this here? Okay, this is a setup. I take only these setups. So this one, you can take this one, you can take this one. When the indicators all the all the way down, and then a, a white candle and a blue candle. You can take this one, a white candle and a blue candle. You can take this one, right? These. Are, so what happened? These are uh, each of these candles have a size, brick size. So we place the, the SL right behind the setup when you take the setup. So if I take the set entry, it, it's here, and I place the you know stop right behind it. If it comes and hit, that's fine. But you can see here that this one never hit back. This one never hit back. This was not a setup because this indicator was high. This was okay. This was a very nice one, right? So this low never got hit. If you had taken this one, never got hit. So this is the beauty of it. So you have 25 pip SL. If it hits, fine. If not, most of the time it doesn't. And if it, if you're right, you can see you, you just saw that how many pips you're talking about. You know, it easy, easily goes 100, 150 pip, no problem. So um, in one good trade, you can cover your four or five, at least four, three or four bad trades. It's no big deal. You know, you take the entry. If it hits, fine. Thank you. Let it go. Wait for the right moment, the right setup again. And if it comes, you take it and then you ride with it, the next target. So this is it for now. And um, if you see, uh, I have, uh, you know, uh, for the next week, uh, very good setups. So uh, if you like what you saw, you know, good, you want to be a part of it and you want to trade it, you want to learn, you want to get this uh, Magic IB system, so go on my website, um, subscribe, and then start trading. Okay. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.